What over there, peasants, and welcome to another one of Skyrim mods. And today we are here doing the, uh, not the Oblivion, the uh, the Overlord's Tower. Yes, the Overlord's Tower, as in the Overlord from the game Overlord, basically. And we are here in Iverstead. Now, before you come here, you want to go to White Run. Once you've installed the mod, head to White Run, go to Dragon's Reach, and you will be attacked by some asshole of a bastard assassin. Remove him from existence. Oh Christ, oh Christ, remove him from- run away, remove him from existence, and he will drop a- a note, which will send you here, basically. And you have to come and vanquish the Overlord. Now, the Overlord is this chap here who's trying to kill me. He is just a guy in full Daedric armor. Hits like a bloody truck, might I add. Now you want to kill him. Where's he gone? He's killing everybody. What an asshole. Come here, though. Where are you? Down there. Okay. Right. Let's just, uh... Ooh, excuse me. Let's just, um, right. He's, what, what do you... The Emperor can kiss my ass, he just said. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. That is actually quite brilliant. So we're going to use our uh, shout. Shut up. Oh, sorry. Oh, great. Now got, oh, but the hell, the hell is going on with him? <laughs> what is he? <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, that's a, it's just, I, I can't concentrate with him flying around like that. <laughs> it's still going <laughs> What is it doing? Oh, okay. It's just got, it's got up like nothing's happened. That's quite a ride. I'm, I'm fine. Nothing happened. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Right, so. Anyway, moving moving on. We um, we kill the Overlord after that sort of mad moment. And we loot him. Now, he drops a number of rubbish, to be honest. But his, uh, the journal is a thing you want to go want to read. So, let's read the journal. Books. Uh, what's his name? The Overlord. Right. <laughs> right, the Overlord's journal. Right, basically, this whole journal is worth reading. Uh, it basically tells you everything about um, him, why he's here, he wants the fact that he wants to kill you, and basically all about his sort of tower. So, anyway, let's head to the big blue glowing dealie now, shall we? Right, so once you get here, I need to bloody sneeze. Once you get here, head on in, if you can find... There we go. Now, upon entering the tower, you are presented with this rather great hall. Um, it's supposed to be modelled slightly around the tower from uh, Over Overlord, but it has a number of little added bits and bobs. One, you have a shed load of loyal servants. You have this chap here, Crush, who's a werewolf. Lovely. These geezers, I'll go through them in a moment. This chap, Caverus, don't know who you are. And we have another loyal servant. And Rocco here. These say. are all just sort of bonus people. Behind the back, you have a midnight snack. Her name isn't a midnight snack. She is a midnight snack. If you are a vampire, you can come back here and have a midnight snack, basically. That's what you can do. Sorry, I, I tried to sneeze, but then it didn't quite come out. Anyway, round the back, we have this chap here. Ripter the Blue Flame. He is a chap. He's, he's basically your, your shopkeeper for the area. And finally, we have our throne as the new overlord from vanquishing the original overlord i am now the overlord and these are my followers basically we have weird ghost man mage person daedra guy don't know an assassin whoops and assassin so let's go and have a look shall we who have we got so here we have kira assassin lady i go gray i believe he is a vampire um sort of mage ghost graybeard and dramora or Darmageddon, as he's called. Ha! Huh, Darmageddon. What a ridiculous name. Let's go and have a look around the area, shall we? First things first, we can head to the left and go to the Overlord's Quarters. Now, the Overlord's Quarters has pretty much what any other quarters would have in it, except for the fact it has one slight ritual going on to call the Dark Brotherhood. I don't know why, either. And we have here the Sleeping Altar. Basically, this is just some healing thing. I don't quite know the reason behind it, but um, it is essentially, I believe if you're a vampire, you can jump on there if you want to. It's a bit more uh, vampire-ish, I suppose. Moving through to the bedroom. Now, the author of this is very, very open to criticism and really wants to hear some stuff that you guys would like in here. So after watching this video, please head over to the mod thing and give him some suggestions. My suggestions at the moment are one bigger bed. I mean, come on, I'm a bloody overlord. I shouldn't be sleeping in a single bed. This should be a huge double bed. I'm liking the whole uh, design of it, but it should be a huge double bed going on there. Massive, glowy, pretty lady is what we all like. And uh, someone's been in here because our jug is on the floor. How incredibly rude. So also in here we have chests. Specifically named chests to store your specific bits and bobs. For example, junk. Just general wardrobe. And trophy chests. And moving all around, there's plenty of other areas which can be updated. In this side area, of course, you have the usual gump, which contains um, 
basically everything you need to craft. So you've got alchemy labs, you've got specifically named chests to keep everything in. You've got the whole smithy going on, the grindstone, um, the workbench. The whole area is basically based simply on crafting. Of course you also have your enchanter. Once again, specifically named areas, dragon parts. You can chuck all your dragon areas, dragon area, dragon stuff in there. Why not? You also have a slight indoor garden complete with funky water feature. This is where all the bits and bobs grow. You can pl you can pick no end of bits and bobs. As far as I'm at the moment, this is more of just sort of like a cosmetic thing going on there. Just looks good. Not quite as many plants, I'd hope. More plants! Put some more plants in there. So we're going to move through now and go and have a look at the other side. Whoa! Hello there. Now, the other side is basically just a tavern. I can't remember the name of it. We shall find out. Post haste! Scarlet Sabre Tavern is basically what it says. A tavern. Let's have a look. Now, as I said, the tavern is basically a tavern. This is somewhere where your little followers can come and have a relax, if you like. Has a com complete with barkeep called Vandar the Sharp. Hello there, Vandar. He doesn't say anything yet, but hopefully with some more updates, things will go on. Another thing I'd like to see in here, actually, is one of these maybe being a secret room or something like that. It'd be kind of cool if one of these did open. Unfortunately, none of them do at the moment. But like I said, this is a work in progress. It'd be nice to see what happens to this mod. As you can see, lots of areas which have already been nicely decorated but plenty of areas to be decorated some more so this is your tavern it's fairly bog standard at the moment but like i said hopefully it will get updated now there is one more room i need to show you so after exiting you can once again seal your fantastic followers these are all followers they will all follow you around if you ask them to thankfully which is very nice now moving back down towards where we came in we have obviously the fantastic view fantastic bloody view now you want to go behind it because it's almost it's not quite a secret but it's secret if you didn't know it was there and thankfully i'm so awesome i found it but anyway this is the treasure vault doesn't look like much but open it and you get to the treasure vault in we go so this is basically your area where you can store absolutely everything you come across in the land of skyrim absolute shed load of places you can store really is com absolute huge now here you have obviously somewhere you can put your most prized armor i should plonk some on there now as a somewhat of a teaser to what you can expect from the next mod video because it's already made but i decided to put this one on first because well i'm cool like that and there you go look how awesome that is so moving around of course we have more areas but your armor more mannequins a couple of guards here guarding the main vault Nothing in here, it doesn't, you don't go in, it's basically just one big chest, which is very nice done actually, I'm very liking that. And of course you have the final room, which is just basically your typical armour room, complete with obviously your most prized armour going there. Now in here of course you have a charter once again, not quite sure why that's here, but I think it adds to the whole area. And here is where you can, you can do your sermons to your followers. Wonderful. So that more or less covers the whole of the Overlord's Tower. I hope you enjoyed this mod, guys. Now, as far as I am aware, there are a couple of added features that have gone into the game with this mod. Now, apparently, he has put artifacts in land somewhere, but it's almost like a mini quest. You have to go off and find these artifacts by following clues. Now, no doubt, if you read the, uh, the Assassin's Note and, of course, the journal from the Overlord, you will find these clues and you can go off and find them. I am not going to go and search them now because I don't want to ruin it for anyone who wants to do it themselves, but I highly recommend giving a good look at this mod. Lots of potential. Great house. Another feature I'd like to add is some sort of easy way of getting here. Maybe spell, fast travel or something like that. As far as I'm aware at the moment, you have to go to Iverstead and make your way here. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I shall see you when I see you in the next video, which you've already had somewhat of a teaser to. Make sure you do rate, comment, and subscribe, and go out and check out the mod link in the description. Toodaloo, friends! I'm going to go and rule the world from my new Overlord Tower. Goodbye!